What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, and we're going to talk about the new text functions actions in Power Automate. Today, specifically, we're going to talk about substring. Now, substring allows you to pass in some text, then specify uh, how many characters you want the uh, function to count, and then how many characters after that you want to count, and then it will return that substring. So you pass in a string, you then specify a count for where you want to start counting, and then a count for how, how many characters you want to count, and returns that. That's exactly the same as the actual substring function in the expression editors and the, and the string functions in Power Automate. However, the Power Automate team have added this in as a new action to try and make it easier for a lot of people. So let's take a look at it. So I have a manual trigger flow here, and in here I'm just going to add a text input. So we'll call this uh, text1 to be nice and generic. Then we'll click on new step. We will go down to built-in, and then we can choose the text functions here. And then we have this function called substring. So we previously looked at find text position. This is substring. So we click substring, and we get these three boxes. So we get the, uh, the text. So this is a string that we're passing in. The start and position. So this is the number of um, characters that it'll count before it starts. And then we have the length, and this is the number of characters it will count from that starting position before returning to returning that substring to you. So in the text box, we're going to put in that text input that we just had. So we called that text one, didn't we? So we put that in there. The starting position, we'll use position number four, uh, and the length we can use um, five. So this will um, look at whatever we put into this text, it will count four characters, and then it will start um, returning five characters from that fourth position. Um, so nice and simple, nice and easy, three text boxes, and away you go. So we'll test this out. Go to test, I'll perform the trigger action, save and test. Uh, right, we need some text, so we say hi, uh, my name is Matt and we'll run the flow. Click done, and then we expand this, and we can see, hi, my name is Matt, the starting position is four, the length is five, and we get my na. So what this has done, this has counted one, two, three, four characters, so that space is included as a character, and then it's returned five characters from there, so one, two, three, four, five. So it's counting those five characters. So really quick, really easy uh, way to pull out things. Um, the starting position and the length, these can be done out of content as well, so you can pass in whatever you want. Um, and yeah, it's, it's exactly the same as substring. So to show you that, uh, we'll add a new, new action. Uh, we'll create a compose action here uh, once it wants to load. And we will show you that, uh, that formula. Uh, let's cancel that a second. And just type in compose. Uh, compose. There we go. Uh, and we can put in a formula here. So we will open the expression editor, and the expression is substring. Uh, my expression editor is not working very well today. The text we want to put in is that text one from that we got from there, and then we just have to add in our numbers. So we'll add in four, then comma five, and then that's it. That's all we need. So we'll exit out of that, and we can see that in there. So that's exactly the same as this. We're passing in this. We're in the starting position here and the length here, um, and we can test this. So I'll just actually use that previous test, just so we have the exact same data. So we can see the same thing again, minor, and then in the compose action, we get minor. So that's it. So what the Power Automate team have done is they've taken some common functions inside the inside the functions to, to make it easier for users and made them into actions. So I think that's really handy of the Power Automate team. It's going to, it's going to allow people to... Uh, 
to use this a lot more. I think a lot of people are scared of functions when, like, you know, functions and expressions when they come to them. Um, some people that don't have that, you know, as great an Excel background or coding skills and things like that, the, those logical expressions are sometimes a little bit daunting for them, uh, which is why I've tried to make them really easy and really simple by all my videos over the last few months. Um, but yeah, this is a great, great thing from the Power Automate team. So what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. It's always appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.